Hello everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed. So let's go and get this uh, third of three done for this memory block. And uh, there's no training this time because all I got was extra throwing knives. That doesn't need much training. I never use my throwing knives anyway. I probably should, but I don't. Um, so we are on the way to Akar. And this time I'm going to be careful to select the Bureau this time. <laughs> um, Should you cause a disturbance, it is wise to leave the area in order yeah. to avoid upsetting civilians further. Yeah, we've already already heard this. Anyway, so let's let's get this one done and then we can find out what's in store for the, the lat for the memory block five, which I word has spread of your deeds, Altain. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west where the chain and hospitaler districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. I like how I'm actually becoming not as arrogant. It's awesome. And this old old man, at least, doesn't seem to be giving me much of a problem. All right, so I'll cut back to uh, when I'm at one of these places. They let you come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye, but William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. It's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way, and not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. That's from one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then. For once, I agree with these people. Alright, let's see how well I can do. Ah, that was fast. All right, so there we go. Um, I don't know what. I'm not entirely sure what information that told us, but all right. Truly, once, but William knows. If you would only listen, stand up, friends. Do not allow yourself to be sent to slaughter based on the whims and wishes of an uncertain king. We must rely on men who are stronger in their convictions. Men like William of Montferrat! Now time to follow him. Leave now or I make you. Calm down, you rebel. No 
guards on this side, so I could literally just do it now. But... Places and Thank you. Stop. Uh, enough. Enough. What is it you want? Gold? I have a few pieces on me. Take them. Take them and go. It's not gold I seek, but information. I know nothing. You know William. Tell me how to reach him. It's impossible. He meets at the king. And when will the king be gone? Today. But it won't help you. They're sure to argue. And then William will retire to lecture the soldiers. So it always goes. Richard berates William. William berates his men. He won't see you. I already told you. I need to see William. I never said he needs to see me. Then our business is done. Not yet, I'm afraid. There's one last thing I need from you. What is it? Your life. I saw that one coming. <laughs> now to get out of here before they all freak out. Oh God, don't kill me! Oh, it's you, Altair. He scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. <laughs> Doing that. <laughs> what a relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open, even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. All right. Altair, what brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large, and many men call him master, but he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. Yes, sir. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forward. Hmm. I don't know if we've ever said a comment reason. after we've gotten the marker before we sort of just go off in a dark and gloomy mood. Strike after William meets with Richard. He'll be distracted by his meeting. Yes. Yes, sir.
3,000 souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored that end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arkham's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point! But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, Your Grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. I don't want to tip off an entire fort full of guards. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, you dropped a box of stuff. Calm down. Should you fail in these tasks, you will learn the true meaning of discipline. Bring them forward. If I must make examples of some of you to ensure obedience, it will not allow you to be here. Leave. There we go. Rest now. Nice and clean. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akra does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. 
I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You, who speak of good intentions. That's nice. What news? William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for comrade, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with Al Muallim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masiya. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Alright, back to Masiya if we go. Or not. We done already? Get up. Whatever you say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestors started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidic's a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nut jobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good. But the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy. Yes. Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Well, I'm guessing this is where the access code comes in. Can we? No, I can't access this. But maybe. Can I access his computer? Please stop, Desmond. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't leave, and I can't leave until you're in your room. Ah. Fine. 
You know, I was going off of the lead you just gave me, but fine. <sighs> Happy now? Can I go back in here? Okay, it doesn't seem like I can listen in anymore. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What would be so interesting about the bathroom, I don't know, but... Nothing there. I know that's to sleep. Alright, fine. I suppose we'll just sleep and hopefully something will come of it. I don't know when to end the episode here. Jeez, the... Following morning. Missed you this morning, Doc. Get in the Animus. Jeez. Fine. Just because I'm interested as to what Al Mualim has to say about this. <sighs> Let's just go. Enough time for anybody's crap. Ladders are a socially acceptable way to reach a rooftop. Climbing on buildings, however, is not. People just think I'm crazy. I trust you're well rested, ready for your remaining trials. I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The merchant king of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects. To be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others. The men who ruled the cities. They meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. That they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Aka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you. In gratitude for the good work you've done. Defense break. I, I, I get a new sword or something? What kind of... 
Anyway, um, so I will end the episode there. Looks like we have two more people to kill, and uh, things are starting to starting to unravel themselves here. So uh, join me next time. This has been Zarvix, and uh, hopefully we can get to the bottom of these Templar things in the next couple episodes. We'll end it maybe by episode 10. Here's to hoping. So anyway, join me next time. Later. Bye.